Earlier this season, Carmelo and I had a conversation. You see a very candid side of Carmelo talking about a part of him that we really don't know that much about. His late father, Carmelo Iriarte, was Puerto Rican, but he passed away when Carmelo was just two years old. So in this story, we learn how Carmelo went about discovering his heritage and his Puerto Rican roots, and that Latin pride he has now has inspired him to give back to the island that he loves. Well, when I was young, I didn't really, I didn't really get it, you know. I came from New York and I moved to Baltimore, so I didn't really understand it back then. Uh, my dad passed, and then it was a gap of years where I kind of just lost contact with that side of the family. Uh, and then it was a point in time where I was just like, okay, I want to dig deep and really get to the heart of everything and the roots and really figure it out. And then once I figured it out, it was, it was a no-brainer. Any memories at all of your father? A couple. I mean, very, very, you know, cloudy memories. Uh, you know, him taking me, you know, to his sister house and, uh, you know, little things like that. But I don't really no vivid images or memories of my dad. I have a book of poems that he wrote. Uh, he was a he was a poet. Well, he, I guess he thought he was a poet. Uh, Man, he was actually a, a basketball player too. He loved basketball, he loved sports. But he was one of them guys who, you know, back then he wore the, you know, the, the afro, oh, you know, with the turtlenecks. And the, you know, he was one of them guys, you know, 70s and late 60s, that era. So, you know, he started writing poems and poetry and sending them to, you know, his sisters and, you know, my sisters. You know, it's, it's a poem for each one of his kids. Uh, you know, each, his sisters, his you know, brothers, his mother, it's a poem for everybody in there. His, you know, his girlfriends, it's, it's a poem for everybody in there. You know, he really dug deep into the, into the poem. You can tell he really took his time. You can tell he was a, you know, very, you know, family-oriented guy. He wanted to bring everybody together. And, you know, I think that's just the, you know, the Spanish roots. You know, that's, that's a Spanish thing. You know, very family-oriented, very happy, very fun very outgoing, the party type, and you want to have a good time, so I can see that in his poems. I used to read him uh, a lot when I was really, you know, trying to figure a lot of things, trying to connect the dots. Another way Carmelo connects the dots in his life? Going to Puerto Rico. Anthony returned to the island to give back to the heritage that gives him a great sense of Latino pride. I do this from my heart, I do it genuinely. I really care about my people, I really care about my community. So I couldn't do this without you guys, so I want to say thank you. The Carmelo Anthony Foundation, in partnership with Courts for Kids, builds basketball courts in disadvantaged socioeconomic areas of Syracuse, Brooklyn, and Puerto Rico. Each year, starting in 2010, Anthony has opened new or refurbished basketball courts in various housing projects in Puerto Rico. Absolutely, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. There were more and more. Uh, every time I go down there, I see the, you know, the, the connection there. Uh, and then every time I go there, I get more and more information about uh, my side of the, you know, my, my side of the family, and you know where they lived at, and just the things that they love to do. And so it makes me, you know, feel that much more connected when I'm down there.